welcome to real civil youtube channel this is the second part of the pushover analysis in the first part we discuss how can we run the case of the pushover analysis and in this video we are going to discuss what results we are getting okay so first we will see the static pushover curve so go to display and there is option static pushover curve here you can see v versus displacement and the load case is push x and push y so this is the push x case so it is showing the uh, if you see uh, it is showing the deformation up to 165 and a base shear of 2476 you can see at the corner bottom of the graph these values and if you go to push y you can see the structure is pushed up to 173.47 mm and the base shear is also given there okay so these are the two curves uh, they represent the uh, capacity of the structure so these two curves are called as capacity curve in x direction and in y direction okay we can see the results in the tabulated form also so you can go to show tables here you have to click on formatted now here you can see first is step so there are 13 steps second column is of monitored displacement so our structure is getting displaced so in first step it is displaced 14 mm in second step it is displaced 25.138 mm next column is base force or you can say base shear so when structure is not displaced the base shear is zero when the structure is displaced 14 mm laterally the base shear generated is 509.99 in second 915.7221 so you can see as the displacement goes on increasing the base shear is also goes on increasing so these are the same data of the graph so graph is also base shear versus displacement or monitored displacement and you can see this curve going left to right okay so this is the first part now next is here you can see a to b b to c c to d d to e and greater than e and then again some levels are there okay so in the uh, last video or in the first part we have defined hinges so for each beam we have defined two hinges and for each column we have defined again two hinges okay so what it represents so in the step first step 320 all the hinges are in the linear phase okay in the second step 316 are in between a to b and 4 are between b to c okay so let me show you the graph so this is the graph a to b b to c c to d and d to e okay you can get this curve in fema 356 or in many literature also you will get that graph and its meaning okay so there are different levels are there i will show you like operational level immediate occupancy life safety collapse prevention okay so here you can see 
ऑपरेशनल लेवल लाइफ सेफ्टी कोलैप्स प्रिवेंशन ओके नाउ वी विल सी द हिंज रिजल्ट्स ओके आई विल क्लोज दिस नाउ गो टू क्लिक ऑन शो डिफॉर्म्ड शिप नाउ हियर सिलेक्ट द पुश एक्स केस ओके नाउ हियर वी हैव डिफाइन थर्टीन स्टेप्स ओके सो यू कैन सिलेक्ट द स्टेप्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन अप टू थर्टीन ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन फर्स्ट स्टेप एंड विल सिलेक्ट द एटोमेटिक स्केलिंग ऑप्शन नाउ हिंज स्टेट कलर्ड डॉट्स आर फॉर सो हियर यू कैन सी बी सी डी एंड ई पॉइंट्स और आई ओ एल एस सी पी एक्सेप्टेंस पॉइंट्स ओके सो यू कैन हैव एनी वन सो इफ यू क्लिक ऑन एप्लाई नाउ इफ वी गो ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द स्टेप्स यस सो हियर यू कैन सी द ब्लैक कलर ग्रीन कलर ब्लू कलर एंड रेड कलर सो दिज रिप्रेजेंट आई वो एल एस लाइफ सेफ्टी कोलैप्स प्रिवेंशन और इट इज मोर देन कोलैप्स प्रिवेंशन ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी सम ऑफ द हिंजेस आर गेटिंग रेड ओके सम हिंजेस आर इन ग्रीन सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन चेक सो इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप ओके सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन सी द रिजल्ट सो if you click one here so we'll get to see the results of both push x and push y so in step 1 there will not be any hinge formation if you go to step 2 as you goes on increasing the step that means you are increasing the displacement of the structure and because of that there are different types of hinges are getting formed and the meaning of those hinges i have shown in this picture so you can study uh, read this uh, schema code so you will come to know their actual meaning so these are the results uh, uh, we wanted to discuss in the next part we will try to see how can we get the performance point of the structure so we will discuss that part in our uh, part in our next video if you have any doubt you can ask me i will reply okay thank you thank you so much for watching the video please like share subscribe the channel thank you thank you so much